So hi guys, uh, in the previous video we created a version of our unit converter which is uh, which has now drop downs and uh, the drop downs are being created from database entries. So once the database is updated, those drop downs update automatically. And uh, we also modified the converter that once you start it, it already does a conversion upon startup without you as a user having to input anything and now you can just you know do your normal conversions now in this video we're going to take it a step further and we're going to use a template as a basis for uh, our uh, web application because currently if i look at the source code uh, let me magnify that uh, this is not good HTML. There's no head. There's no, it doesn't tell me what kind of document that is. So this is not good HTML. It was good enough for now, but uh, we need to take it a step higher. And that's why what I did, I created a template, which is this here. And this is an HTML template which has all the necessary HTML there. And this, this HTML template is also coupled to a style sheet, which looks like this. Again, a very simple style sheet, but which defines certain elements uh, of that page. And uh, if I call that uh, HTML file, it will look something like that. And what we are gonna do in Python is basically get that file and then have those placeholders in curly braces replaced by our values and basically our unit converter will look instead of instead of this it will look like this so you'd have here the value input here you would have the converted value here i would expect a drop down for the from units here the drop down to the for the two units then the button and here a conversion factor the conversion factor we don't even have that in this version here Right, so how do we go about it? Well, we go back to our Python file. Uh, so all of that we don't need. Um, actually, let me remove all of that. Uh, yeah, let me remove everything. Right, and now we go over here and we create a new variable. Let's call it a page template. And this variable is coupled to a function, a new function, which is called open. And with this function, we open a file. We can open any file we want. In this case, we're gonna be opening our template and this is the temp it's called template template main dot html it is in the same directory as we are so we don't need any path information here and then the second parameter this open function demands is what in what mode are you opening that file i wish only to read that file i don't know i do not wish to modify that file that's why I will take read mode instead of write mode and then close. So now we have an entity called page template, which is coupled to opening up this template file. Now we need a second variable, which actually holds that HTML code that we saw in the template. And we call that HTML code. And that is equal to page template. The, ob the, the entity or object page template, which is uh, a result of this opening up the FT file, and read. Oops, read. So now I have all that HTML code in this variable. And now we come to the last step, which is basically we have to print this HTML code. but not as is, but we have to replace um, all those curly elements with 
some uh, uh, Python generated value. And the way we do that, it was a, I, I've showed that I've shown that in a in a older video in this series with the format uh, format statement. And now, if you if you notice, I have in my template I have within the curly braces always the name of each of those elements that has to be changed. That makes it much easier for me to put these things in format. So for instance, the first one would be I value. And what, what would that equal be? Well, it would be equal to I value the variable. So I value. What's the next thing we've got to replace? Converted value. So converted value would be equal to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the variable is called converted value. I'm just looking for it. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it is here. Conversion outputs. And then converted value. Converted value, because this is output by the function itself. Uh, let me make that bigger and let me put a backslash here makes work much easier exactly great you see with the backslash I can have multiple line breaks in Python I'm doing them so we can see both the, um, the template and the code so what's uh, I forgot the comma here so what's next the next thing is from unit input let's copy that from unit input, well, that would be our from unit dropdown, comma, and then two unit input, and that would be our two unit dropdown. Okay, and then comma, another backslash, and we still need conversion factor. Well, we haven't got it. So let me just insert that. And that will be equal to an empty string right now. Close the format bracket and then close the code. Is there a space here? No. Cool. All right. So now we should have, if I reload my, uh, my, um, my unit converter, it should look no more like this, but more like this. And let's try it out. Let's reload. And you see, there we go. Now we have the template. We even got a title. And if I look at the source code, it is now basically the template itself, even with, uh, with CSS style sheet and so on. And that makes the whole thing much more presentable and obviously it works as usual let's give it a shot convert and it converts now the only thing missing here is conversion factor again that's a thing that i would like to have from the function so I'd, i would have to go to my function to my engine and add that here among my dictionary outputs and i'll just copy that uh, well, I'll just make it better. Copy that. And here, conversion factor. And if I'm not mistaken, we have that somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. Conversion factor, also extracted from the database. And that will also now be an output this function produces. Right. This is done, saved, and in here, I will have to replace that empty string with conversion factor, conversion factor, right? Save it. Let's see, is it is it everything here, conversion factor? Yep, everything looks okay here as well. Right, both documents saved, great. 
So now I can convert again, and I have my conversion factor. So kilometer to mile, it is 0 0.62. If I uh, do meter to mile, it will be so much. Uh, meter to meter, it should be one. Yep, and there we go. Now we have uh, a new version or an updated version of our unit converter. In this case, it is using a template coupled with CSS and Python is basically replacing all those placeholders we saw here with some Python variables. And so we have now our end product here. And the nice thing about this is that, you know, if you don't like the looks of it, or let's say, let's put it this way, if somebody doesn't like the looks of it, that somebody can go ahead and just change the template. That guy should be proficient in HTML or CSS, but shouldn't be a Python expert. He shouldn't be at all proficient in Python. All he has to know is where does he want that stuff to, to be, and then just basically place these placeholders wherever he wants or wherever she wants, and then save that template. And then next time when you run the program, that program will read the new template and replace those placeholders with some Python values. And your, and your uh, application will look then completely different without you having to touch the code. And that's the beauty about it right now. We don't, uh, we don't produce any HTML code in here. The only HTML code we do is like this one, this first statement. Other than that, all HTML is now completely segregated from Python. It is put in a separate file and Python does not print any HTML anymore, except for instance, like, like uh, the, the dropdowns, but that's about it.